obviously now when you have to when you meet a girl for the first time you're you're hoping she doesn't know about your instagram i'm assuming because then you don't yeah. know off the bat if she's there for the right reasons or if she's just there because low-key she's this guy's famous he's you know potentially rich as well he's yeah yeah you know so for do you have like a screening process or something or like how do you go about like <laughs> you just like hope they don't know who you are or like how do you kind of like maneuver that situation When you moved to Thailand, it was 2018. So you were you were still like just in your like blowing up phase on Instagram. So like back then, obviously you're living, I don't know if it's in the exact same city or just like the same general area, but in terms of dating in 2018 versus in 2021, no matter which location you're in, if you're in Dubai, if you're in here, if you're in Germany, like what's it like now that you're like Instagram famous versus before? Yeah, that is a big problem, to be honest. Like, in my opinion, I would always like people not even to know anything about that, mm. you know, because it has this weird touch to it. It's still like if you have like a million followers on Instagram, it's somehow, I don't know why why women, they think like this, but it would be similar that if a guy tells you, hey, I'm rich. Yeah. You know? Like, you are rich and I'm famous. Like, I'm not famous, man. I, I don't believe I'm famous at all. But I mean, I'm maybe a bit popular. Mm -hmm. But for being famous, I wouldn't consider myself a big, because like what, you know, like it's just me. Um, but it's definitely that other people give it more value. And it's really difficult because I know people from back in the days, they would treat me like this. And then all of a sudden you become someone and then they completely treat you different and kind of treat you better. And you just wonder like, why, why would you do this all of a sudden? You get yeah. my point? Yeah. And also with the women, it's like... It, in the best case, they don't even see that, right? So in the best case, you meet someone in real life and just approach her and mm -hmm. just have a small talk. And then maybe later on, like besides, she already likes you and she already is into you and then finds out about that. Yeah. It's 10 times better yeah. than some gold digger, you know, like they just like text you anyways because they you already are someone because it's yeah. not about that, you know, like I also can definitely tell you like, that I have or like the body I have and all the bullshit about me is just the tip of the iceberg. But who, what really makes me is the person that I am. Like that is the most, the best about me is like who I am and not just how I look or what I accomplished in life. Yeah. So like, obviously now when you have to, when you meet a girl for the first time, you're, you're hoping she doesn't know about your Instagram, I'm assuming, because then you don't yeah. know off the bat if she's there for the right reasons or if she's just there because low key, she's, this guy's famous. He's, you know, potentially rich as well. He's, yeah. you yeah. know, so for, do you have like a screening process or something or like, how do you go about like, <laughs> you just like hope they don't know who you are or like, how do you kind of like maneuver that situation? You just like wait as long yeah, as possible no. to bring it up or how do you do that? Yeah. Let's say even look at, let's say, just take my recent uh, case yeah. here. Right. So I yeah, like, how'd you meet her? For example. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't know that she knows already about my Instagram. Right. But she would know me already. She saw me and all that bullshit. And then somehow comes like with uh, I texted her. And then obviously it's like it's it's clear. So but be, be beside that, how can I say? Better better you meet some girl maybe in the gym, yeah, and then you but nowadays as everyone has Instagram and if I'm just in some uh, place and I'm posting and you are into fitness and you're liking fitness stuff, it will recommend you my postings. I know a lot of people getting quite annoyed with my content because Instagram would keep recommending it to them oh, all uh, the time. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that was also what happened to, to girls. So many, they not be, maybe they don't like me or whatever, but they would already have seen me somewhere. Mm. Okay. So for many, like say, I'm as I'm also into fitness, and I'm, if I would date some girl, I would also be looking for that she's kind of into fitness because it's just such a massive part of my life. So she gotta be okay with me spending so much time for gym stuff and all that. Yeah. And then they would be into fitness, then they have some social media, and then they would already saw some video about me. So it's kind of hard to be incognito, but which obviously is kind of a nice point for me. So everyone who can take advantage of being kind of like a bit popular and use this to your advantage to date more girls and all that stuff. Okay, man, go ahead, do it. Yeah. I'm happy for you. Yeah. Hmm. So like, 
when it comes to the whole, you know, you say you're not famous, but like, I guess like Instagram famous, like, did you find people who were in your life before that treated you different too? like close friends of yours from Germany and even like family members and stuff like that? Or has everyone been pretty cool? Yeah, I mean, let's say my family, they never supported this at all, bro. It, mm. In the first place, when I first started to do this Instagram and I told them like, guys, I will make some money with this one day. And they're just like, yeah, should go work a regular job, son. What are you talking about? You know. Yeah. And then um, I, I, I remember, man, I, sh- I said to my dad, like, look, my, my, these guys, they pay me this much for me posting a picture online. And my dad yeah. was just, he wouldn't believe it. And he's like, yeah. So um, <laughs> they would have never really supported me in this way. Yeah. Always told me to do something different. And then at one point, this is the only thing, like at one point they see like, maybe they see your bank account and all that and how, like what you can do for your income and how you do well for yourself. And then mm-hmm. all of a sudden they realize like, wow, maybe our son is not doing that. Like maybe, yeah, maybe he's, he's not, not an idiot. Maybe he's, a, maybe he's actually sort of smart. <laughs> yeah. 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 I can relate. So yeah. after even this is the same with friends, let's say, I, I don't like if I, I can sense it when people they treat me different now. And I'm just like, why would you do this all of a sudden, bro? Like, you know, like mm-hmm. we've always been friends and all that. Just don't try to be nicer to me just because uh, I I got like 4 million followers now. Or the next thing is like, you are texting me and I would not reply you back. And then I just find out two days later, I'm like, oh, fuck, sorry. I just saw it. And then you go like, no, it's no problem. I know you get so many messages. Yeah, it's okay. I know I get messages, but still it could be like, I didn't value it too much so i would check on your message again so it's it's not okay i didn't text you back so like that you know just like people would forgive you for things they would say like i know you are so busy i don't want to bother you i don't want to disturb you and all that and you just go like but we i thought we are friends so why why would you treat me that way just like treat me like your normal dude like your homie that's it yeah hmm. yeah i guess I can so be there's hard definitely to some figure out because it's just like what do you do they, I don't know. It's hard to like pre- prevent somebody from having that thought process, you know. And it's like a an old friend of yours or something. Like, how do you how do you just yeah. tell them like I'm the same guy as you know five years ago? Like, don't treat me differently. Yeah. yeah. The thing is, like, maybe I mean you are evolving in your head, and as I make a lot of experience traveling, see a lot of things, and meet a lot of people, and all that, I you might just get more grown up. You may, you get more mature and all that, maybe in your mind and maybe you make more progress than the other guy, but I'm wondering about you, bro, because for you, it must be quite similar. Let's say, how is it for you then when you are in Canada? I can't imagine that people don't know it because even for me, they tell me, they see me, they say, Hey, what's your YouTube? And I'm just like, Hey, but I'm not even that big on YouTube. So So I can just imagine you, like you have a big fan base now, bro. And you are very well, well, well loved by the people. And I can just reckon that you go somewhere and people would spot you all the time. Yeah, yeah, especially at gyms, but it seems like now anywhere I go, there's at least one or two people that come up to me. And even if it's at like, even if I'm going to a buddy's place, I'm just like in his condo building, I'll be like going up an elevator and it'll be like the guy in the elevator is like, bro, watching your video this morning. Yeah. I'm like, wow, that's fucking, <laughs> yeah. that's crazy. Because for me, too, my audience is like 8% in Canada or something. It's like way more mm-hmm. in the USA. So I'm just imagining like, wow, this is even... Yeah even here you know so yeah it's it's pretty it, crazy dude simi- similar thing like me and i was like how would be so many people in dubai i went everywhere i go people know me yeah. brought me for pictures and i'm just like who am i you know i go inside yeah. in the con like in the skyscraper there in the elevator there's a maybe 45 year old dude coming in with his wife and then he's like oh you're the guy from the thing, like, and I'm just like, <laughs> how the fuck would you know me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like, you're like a grown up man with his, yeah. like, how, and then there's a lot of, like, people, they are between 40 and 50 that watch my videos. I would never think about it. Like, I would never thought about that people in this age range would mm. still watch someone like me. No, yeah, yeah. Yeah, when you go to the, uh, yeah. like, for, for even me, I didn't even realize girls watched my content at all. And when I had, like, a couple girls come up to me in the gym and be like, I watch your stuff, I'm like, I'm like really like that's surprising because yeah i don't i don't really post like physique stuff or anything like mainstream fitness i talk about like really science information and shit i'm like you would listen to me like talk about this stuff crazy yeah but this is the one thing that i always have to say people they always break it down and this is the this is let's say this is joe statics 
and you are only cool because this is your physique and your body and you can do the ripple and all that stuff. No, dude, it's more about like you sit there and you are a cool guy. And I just like to listen to you. That I always said like this, I go here, there's this Chinese guy. He walks yeah. with his uh, selfie stick filming yeah. himself. Yeah. And you're just like, who the fuck is this? But in yeah. reality, he's right now live streaming and 300,000 people are watching his live stream. Him walking yeah. through Thailand with his selfie stick recording himself and everyone loves him. But he's a chubby Chinese dude. Just look fucking normal. So yeah. it would be like, why would everyone? Yeah, because just because a cool person yeah. is lovable. It's the, the body is not is nothing to be like where you can get emotionally attached to. But yeah. if you like someone because this guy is just like a cool dude, that's much more important. So this is the reason why also it doesn't matter how you look. It's about you sitting there and talking and saying the things you say and acting the way you act and just being Derek. Yeah. And that's what the people like about you. That's, and that's what should, should be in general. Yeah. That's one thing I like. The physique is of, only the tip. How the fitness industry is going a bit more in the direction of people with personality and people with information. They're the ones who are growing faster now versus before. It was just like yep. guys like Simeon Panda, guys like not saying he has no personality yep. or anything, but I'm just saying like the guys with the sickest physique, like the Ulysses, the whatever. And they would exactly. Never- they would never make a video just like talking to you and re- being relatable. It would just be like, look at my sick fucking physique and that's it. And everyone would follow them. But now it's kind of going in the opposite but, direction. I, I, I swear to God, this is the thing that's happening right now in 2021 also with the social media stuff. See, before it was like this, you see a movie yeah. and, and, and cinema and stuff and these actors and you admire them. So there's these two types of role models. One which is so far away from you, which you would never be able to meet this guy or touch up with this guy and all this stuff, but yeah. you still love him because he's your famous actor. Yeah. But then there's now all these social media personalities which are just so much closer to the people. It's like someone for you to love, but yeah. he's so close to you. So it's like you can, even if you send him a message, there's maybe even a chance he replies. While yeah. you text the rock, you would yeah. never. So it's like, yeah. it's shifting. So yeah. now, before it was like, if you have the sickest physique, like you said, the people who look the best were getting the most famous, yeah. while maybe the best looking physique guy is a total dickhead and it's just no character. And it's you yeah. know what I mean. If you're if you are if you are an asshole in real life, you are still an, if you can look the best, but that's the thing with some bodybuilders. I mean, not to name some people, but some old yeah. school bodybuilders also that won like a bunch of titles, but are just like such stuff on old school bodybuilders just eat sleep train repeat yeah. and they're just like you know grumpy and like no nothing to love nothing yeah to love i love how person. it's not it, it used to be like those guys they were like i have the best genetics and physique so put me on the cover of the magazines give me the big contract and just like worship me basically yep. but now and they don't get they don't understand why they're like not making the same money they used to or why people are giving attention to other people and it's like because we don't want to follow dickhead bodybuilders with no personality who we can't relate to, you know? And I love yes, how it's going the opposite time. direction now. Yeah. I found, I found this, I found out about this when let's say, I think three years ago or something, you know, Marcus rule. Yeah. He was always the guy, even back in the days who made the DVDs and the videos and that stuff. And he was like burping and farting and all yeah. that shit. And Dude, I just made a video on that. Yeah. I yeah. know. I know. I know. So, and now he, he saw the social media coming in and he stepped in and he took the chance and made videos and kept showing about his personality because he's also a cool dude. While yeah. other people, let's say they would still keep posting their physique updates, which is just like, yeah, it's nice, but it's still the same shit always, man. And I think I said this 100%. The thing is entertainment is much more important than everything else because then people say, yeah, but it should be knowledge or it should have some information or it should educate me or something. No, nope, people watching Netflix all the time and it's just yeah. brain fucking. But it's entertaining. People like to laugh. People like to be happy on, and get excited to watch stuff like you and not just like a bodybuilder. Yeah, and I eat 200 <laughs> grams of chicken breast yeah. and then I eat 300 grams of broccoli. That's it. Like, yeah. You yeah. know, being, uh, being, being a bit funny and, 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 and to some extent can really help to create better content in that way and that's also one yeah. to, to go back to the point real quick one point because i was in thailand because i felt like very free to do whatever i want in terms of like creating content which i didn't really 
feel even in Germany because like then also I would talk English right because I've always been talking English and in Germany how would I be making these videos and they, everyone would just look at you strange and all that stuff not yeah. that I give a fuck anyways but it's just yeah. like in my in my small city and hometown then all these people they look at him like man look at this dude now he thinks he's taken off like you know he's getting arrogant and like like who is this like why is he talking English now is he too good for German and like so much bullshit talk yeah no I can imagine man yeah um, so like that, you mentioned the alien games thing and how that kind of like took off your Instagram and kind of had your first viral videos and whatnot. Did you like, you noticed it for the first time during your photo shoot, you said, or did you have it happen all through your life? No, the thing is 